Hey guys, it's Peter here with the 1995 S500. Um, and as I said, we're gonna go ahead and try to fill the refrigerant uh, first because the AC is not blowing cold. And I'm gonna walk you guys through that steps. First, um, get yourself a um, 134A can. Recommend highly get the gauge that's gonna tell you where you're at and how you're filling it. And uh, I wouldn't even attempt to fill it without the gauge. They're not much that expensive. I think I picked this up for like 25 bucks at Walmart. Um, and then uh, I went ahead and took this cover off here. This was cover was right here. You can access the port through here, but you're not gonna be able to hook up that line from what I found. So you're gonna take that cover off, and then down in here you've got this with the little black cap. Be careful on screwing it so you don't drop it down below. Um, and I'm gonna set that off to the side. Now, you might hear this fan over here, so that's another issue that we have, and that is a blower motor fan. And there is a part that can be replaced that goes bad that, uh, it's a regulator that tells it to turn on and turn off, and mine's just staying on, so I found a forum. I'm gonna go ahead and order that, but we're gonna first try to get this AC blowing cold. Um, so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go turn the car on, and then we're gonna hook this part up by pulling up on the pressure there, sliding it on, and getting it to snap on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video, get the car started, get this connected, uh, and show you guys how you um, check this. Also, you wanna make sure your AC is turned all the way up on the coldest setting. So first, you're gonna turn it on, crank the AC up, and then we're gonna hook the line up. Okay, so we got car started, and we've got our gauge hooked up right here by sliding that open. One of the things I wanted to point out is there was a safety on here that keeps the can from connecting, so I had to take that off and connect that as well so we'll be able to add our gas. Um, and then really the next step is, you can see I have nothing in there, pretty much on the bottom. When I connected this though, I did get a, a sound from here the first time. I disconnected and reconnected and did not get that sound, so I think it was extremely low. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna read our chart. Uh, make sure you read this. Um, I don't know if I can focus on that app. You know what? Uh, there we go, let's see. Well. It says we're about 80 degrees outside right now, so 40 to 50 PSI. I'm gonna say we're closer to 85 in Florida. So I am gonna to go to about 50 PSI. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna tilt this thing upside down here uh, where you can see the gauge, and then you're just gonna pull the trigger and let it add. Obviously that gauge is gonna give you false readings as it's adding. So you want to pull the trigger and let up on it. So we're at about 25 there. Like I said, I want to go to 40. Um, 40 or 50, I'm probably going to go all the way up to 50 just to be safe. So I'm going to go ahead and get that filled. And hopefully, this gets our compressor to kick on and we get some cold AC. It looks like it's kind of giving me more of an exact reading now. Yeah, I might need another can, it feels like. It feels like this can is empty. Yep, I think the can might be empty. It feels very light. So we've got it, looks like I got it up to 35 PSI. I'm not sure if that's going to rise a little bit more. Um, good thing is we've got some cold moisture here. Let's see if we can feel... Oh yeah, the pipes are getting really cold down here. So I'm going to go ahead and check the AC inside. Alright guys, so amazing news is I am getting very cold air coming out of here. Um, these vents might actually be closed. I haven't played around with them really. Um, you know, if anybody knows much about the uh, controls here, I'm, of course I'm going to look it up, but... Um, I'm guessing the EC button might mean extra cold. Of course, we've got auto here, auto here. Um, this is set to max, but I don't know if that needs to be set to auto. Um, and I did turn this all the way to cold, but we're definitely getting some cold air coming out of here, which is really good news. Um, obviously, this is to circulate inside the car, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to go back to max here. Alright, so 
Um, looks like we're getting cold air, which is really good news. I'm not sure what that button does there. Try that. See what that does. Well. All right, if you guys know anything about these buttons, definitely comment below and let me know. Uh, once again, I'm Peter with the 1995 S500 W140. Uh, we just added coolant and we're getting cold AC, which is great news. Thanks again, comment below, let me know what you guys wanna see on this car. Uh, also, if you think I should keep it, restore it, or sell it, let me know. Thanks again, guys.